Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sayanika Bora, Assistant Professor, Department of Extension and Communication Management, Assam Agriculture University, Jorhat, Assam. Today I am going to discuss about what is technical writing and communication skill. What is communication? Communication is a series of experience through hearing, smell, seeing, taste and touch. To, through this, we can communicate our uh, feelings and experience to other people. What is communication? Communication is the art of transmitting knowledge, idea, information and thoughts from one person to another person. The transfer should be such that the receiver understand the meaning and the intent of the message and give proper feedback. Okay, this is communication. Simply communication is the transferring of ideas, thoughts or, or feelings to other people. Means it is sharing of information also called communication. What is the different element of communication? Uh, first element is the communicator, next is masses, third communication channel, treatment, audience and last one is audience response or feedback. Okay. Who is communicator? Okay. Who is communicator? Communicator is the first person to start the communication process. Okay. Who start the <coughs> communication process is communicator. <coughs> There are different element of communication. First is communicator who start the communication process. Next is the message. Uh, message means the information which one we want to transfer for uh, other people. Another is the communication channel. Communication channel is the medium or the media through which we can communicate the information to the people another is the treatment treatment is very important because for different format we can uh, prepare the information in different way okay for, for example uh, for radio talk or tv talk uh, or um, for the magazine if we uh, write the same content for the magazine even same content for the tv talk their format will be different and this is called treatment treatment is the way to uh, perfectly fit the message to the particular channel okay another is the audience yes audience is the most important element because audience is the target group of our communication process and last one is the communication response or feedback it is very necessary we communicate information to the people but we have to know how much this information reached to these people this response or feedback is the one of the important element of communication there are effective communication process there are the seven c's of communication first c is the clear communication should be very clear and second wise it should be very concise and it is concrete form okay and communication what are the information we communicate to other people it should be very correct okay and another is the cautious it should be polite and last one is the coherent it should be logical okay importance of communication okay why communication is important it is very necessary first communication is very important for decision making or planning and it should be important for uh, smooth and efficient working of your organization. And it facilitates coordination. It increases the managerial efficiency of the people. And it promotes cooperation and industrial peace. And it helps in establishing effective leadership. Okay. And uh, another importance is motivation and moral okay motivation and moral increase magnetic capacity of people another is effective control on people and job satisfaction democratic management increase productivities and reduce cost and public relation these are the very uh, important uh, thing because in that case uh, communication is very very important 
different type of communication yes it is very important based on the different factor uh, communication types would be characterized in different way on the basis of organizational structure of relationship there are two type of communication one is the formal communication another is the informal communication on grapevine communication okay on the basis of flow of direction which direction communication flow from one person to another person in based on that factor there are the four types of communication one is the downward communication means from the top authority to, to the downwards means staff position any communication um, does then this is called downward communication okay upward communication from the grassroots level to the upper position and the upper authority what are the information transmitted or the communicated this is called upward communication another is horizontal communication and diagonal communication horizontal is in the same level means between within the staff level any community information communicated then it is called horizontal communication okay on the basis of method of media use or expression first is the written communication second is oral communication and third word in non-verbal communication and gestural communication okay how we communicate is it is a very important question how we communicate in which way we communicate okay there are three important way first is the verbal it means when we communicate towards this is called verbal communication what we say okay level and uh, learners put their own interpretation on speaker word is called verbal communication okay next is the paraverbal it's been tone how we say okay accent or voice modulation for example if we say the same word in different to uh, definitely uh, it's mean in different way okay and this is called paraverbal mean it is the middle state of verbal and non-verbal way okay non-verbal is expression and action body language and speakers looks like is the non-verbal non-verbal communication is when we communicate information to the other people through some uh, sign and symbol this is called non-verbal communication do, do you understand okay next we can uh, calculate the how much of communication how, how much percentage we use verbal paraverbal and non-verbal uh, when we think then definitely we can say that yes verbal most of the time we verbal but not it is not exactly correct verbal only 38 percent of only communication process only through verbal means word okay paraverbal only seven percent and another 55 percent mean most of the percent we use non-verbal communication in the per in a day we can communicate information through most of the time non-verbal okay most common ways of communication is speaking writing visual image and body language okay then non-verbal communication okay we already um, discussed non-verbal is very important because most of the time we use non-verbal communication okay that's why we have to know what is non-verbal communication how we communicate non-verbal way in perfect perfect communication so the study of non-verbal communication examines how messages are communicated through physical behavior okay vocal clues and spatial relationship spatial relationship is means distance how much distance between the people when they communicate okay these are the things also communicate lots of the meaning types of body language first one is gestures postures eye contact appearance and um, orientation expression of emotion these are these are express lot of things because the way of standing the teacher how they stand how they work during their uh, class uh, and actually how they contact their eye with the student and their look her look um, 
appearance lots it is all those component actually express lots of um, meaning or it's uh, express lot uh, communicate lots of things to the student okay I'm just talking give example of student and teacher in every situation this actually this can um, apply okay now come to the main point what is communication skill okay it is ability to use language and expression information critical in career and personal life and means uh, communication skill is the actually it is the quality it is the ability of a person to communicate uh, to the other person in very effective way okay very effective way so that they they or they the people means their target group can understand the meaning of his content okay understand what he uh, intended to mean okay the main uh, goal of communication is get and give information okay and based on this information ensure understanding and when they understand they can action based on this action then change the behavior then we can say that communication goal is to change the behavior but in which way in favorable way definitely change is two type okay then always change should be in favorable way in positive positive way okay then type of communication skill there are the three types of communication skill first is the receptive skill expressive skill and processing skills okay under the receptive skill there is the listening skill because listening when we hear something it means we received something okay reading reading skill yes when we read something then actually then we also receive something from the books from the magazine newspaper etc and observing skill when we observe something we actually get information from this object and we receive these things okay another is expressive skill how we can express through speaking means talking with other people writing writing letter writing the application writing words it means we want to express something and another is non-verbal communication and non-verbal skill it means through symbols and sign of our body language okay third one is the processing skill processing skill is the thinking skill when we think something about uh, about our mind in our mind definitely we processing within our mind to get, take the solution if we face any problem then we communicate with our own self we thinking about to find out the solution this is called processing skill okay similarly it is analytical skill and this is on making skill these are the processing news okay do you understand about different type of communication skill okay then listening skill because uh, there is a question um, do you think listening skill is more important than uh, uh, speaking or um, teaching or learning skill yes listening skill is more important than uh, speaking skill because for effective communication listening come first it helps in achieve the best outcome in any situation there are different stages first listening then speaking then reading then writing okay then we can get the proper outcome of the situation for effective listening there are different steps okay first is the listening with empathy okay when we listen something then we can try to understand the people who speak that things okay their situation listening with openness always mind should be open to listen anything okay and listen and listening with uh, awareness if we are aware about something then when someone talking about them then we can listen and, and then we can try to understand about that so listening with always awareness then last one is the listening actively if the all component are there in the listening process then we can say that we this is an active listener and the process in the effective listening okay understand 
Now we come to the barrier. We all know what is barrier. Barrier is nothing, but it's just an obstacle. Okay. There are three levels at which communication takes place. First is noticing is done with the senses and is at the physical level. Second, understanding is at the level of intelligence. Third one is acceptance is at the emotional level. There are the three stages. Okay. Anything that hinder, hinders the process of communication at any of this level is the barrier of communication. Means simply we can say that when some factor, when communication process is obstacle, uh, when some factor um, act as an obstacle in the whole communication process in any stage, that it can be known as barrier. Okay. Barrier to communicate can be defined as the aspect or condition that interfere with effective exchange of idea or thoughts. Okay. What is barrier you know? What is communication barrier? Then there are different factors which create barrier or uh, obstacle in the communication process. Yes, environmental barrier, definitely environmental, not only I am talking about the environment, means climates and the weather, not environmental, means total surrounding of the communication, the, where communication takes place is called environment. And this environmental factor also affect the communication process. One is the technological process, technological factors. Yes, definitely. Now I am doing in an online class. If there is a power cut, there is no internet, it, the internet issues, then how I, it is it create obstacle in whole communication process. Okay, like that, lots of actually I'm not going to all these things, just to mention this factor only. Uh, so the jargon, external noise. Suppose, for example, uh, when we're doing a class uh, in a particular room, suppose in this uh, um, another room just behind the um, uh, classroom, loud music is on, then definitely it's a great obstacle in the um, classes on means communication process. So, this uh, external noise also create the obstacle in the communication process sometimes emotion yes definitely emotion suppose uh, someone in the communicator um, in case suppose communicator is not um, feeling well suppose today I am doing the class I am not feeling well I am physically very tired I am actually um, emotionally very low uh, then definitely it's expressed through my communication uh, process my way of expression um, um, information my expressing word you can uh, know the communication um, it, it can create the communication uh, obstacle in the communication process sometimes when actually we uh, we are feeling happy then we can actually communicate very happily and effectively to other people okay otherwise see sometimes it create problem and another is the distance. Suppose uh, so, um, one people um, standing far away from me, I am um, actually instructing um, something to him. And definitely for due to this long distance, suppose sometimes he received this message in another way. It's, it's also act as a um, obstacle or the barrier of communication. Like personal interest, hello effect, misinterpretation, fear, stress, status, chain of command and trust issue and negative self-image these are the factors of communication barrier okay okay do you understand okay next classification of barrier this all the factor categorizing some broad factors one is the physical barrier okay another is semantic and language barrier social psychological barrier organizational barrier and cross-cultural barrier i am not going to this whole thing explain in the slide i just presented all those things in um, by the picture okay this is the physical barrier you see the picture you can easily understand what is physical barrier okay next is semantic uh, barrier or language barrier yes for example you don't mind there our english is different bengali english is different assamese english is different and south indian english is different you understand what i want to mean okay because for example we say 13 okay but uh, 
some area people from some um, some uh, actually area reason they say tatin okay these are the different type of actually differences in the language okay sometimes it also create problem so we can, it, it uh, we can uh, say this is the lang semantic or language barrier okay another is socio psychological barrier socio psychological psychology our actually mental state okay how we think sometimes we think the people are actually gossiping um, uh, actually about me actually the people what they think like that it, this type of behavior also sometimes create barrier to uh, in the communication process or the um, prop in proper communication okay another is the cross-cultural barrier see the picture and you easily understand what actually we want to express it okay cross-cultural behavior Another is organizational barrier. Organizational barrier is any organization. There are lots of conflict. There are lots of competition between the uh, people, people, between staff, between colleagues. In that type of situation also, uh, in, in organizational um, situation, sometimes the in it also create a struggle in the communication process so we can say that it is an organizational barrier now we come to the next part of this presentation is technical writing okay before we discuss about what is communication now the we, we will going to discuss about uh, technical writing technical writing is writing or drafting technical communication used in technical and occupational field okay such a computer hardware and software engineering chemistry aeronautics robotics finance medical agriculture and consumer electronics biotechnology and forestry Technical writing encompasses the largest subfield within technical communication. The technical writer explain to use without technical knowledge how to use a product that requires technical knowledge to use. By extension, therefore, a good technical writer is a good at writing simply and creating easy to understand descriptive images such as flowchart, diagram and sketch means technical writer able to complete uh, co communicate this technical knowledge without using lots of technical work okay this is called technical writing technical writing means business writing workplace writing professional writing and information writing these are the different category of uh, technical writing so uh, business uh, workplace writing professional and information writing we are mostly talking about this professional writing how is technical writing different from general writing this is very important okay the information is organized presented and communicated in a specific format the writing is concise clear and accurate the writing takes into account the audience need biases and prior understanding the technical writing pre present information to help readers solve a problem or gain a better understanding of the situation the writing conveys technical complex or specialized information in a way that is easy for a non-technical reader to understand this point is very very important technical writing always convey the technical definitely technical knowledge technical information complex and specialized information but in such a way that is easy for a non-technical reader to understand okay this is technical writing Lots of example of technical writing is like Exxon plan, advertisement, as in the audit reports, book review, brochures, budget, business letter, business plan, catalog, contract, um, critic, data book or display, description, 
diagram, chart or poster or graphs, editorials, emails, feasibility reports, field test report, incident reports, informational forms, informational poster, informative summary, instruction and interview questions. These are the all example of technical writing. Another example of technical writing job application which is related to the student and actually we are we academician okay job application job description lesson plan letter of inquiry letter of recommendation magazine newspaper article marketing plan memo meeting minutes newsletter observation report performance evaluation persuasive proposal position paper product comparison proposal, questionnaire, research report, resume portfolio, scientific paper or report, survey report, test report, transcription, training manual, travel guide, web page and work order. Lots, lots of example of technical writing. Now from above slides, we already discussed about what is communication, what are the different type of communication and what, are, what is communication barrier and what is technical writing, different example of technical writing, how this technical writing is different from general writing. These are the questions for you. Please try to give uh, answer of this question. First define communication. What are different elements of communication? Next is what are the different type of communication? Okay, third one. What is listening? What are the different step of effective listening? Write about different type of communication barrier. Okay, last one is briefly write about technical writing and mention five points why it is different from general writing. Okay, I think now you are able to give the answer of this simple question. Okay. Okay, we already discussed about this um, class, uh, technical writing and communication skill. If you have any query and doubts about um, these slides or this uh, today's class, then uh, please you can uh, freely ask me. Thank you.